Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is your friendly ringside physician, Dr. Jared Vasquez. And today we're going to talk about the incredibly shrinking Jose Aldo. Yes, Jose Aldo is gonna make his debut at 135 pounds and uh, everybody was cool with it until they saw this picture right here. <laughs> horrendous. This picture is absolutely horrendous. Jose Aldo during his weight cut He's looking like he just came off of Greg Nicotero's. That's the makeup artist for Walking Dead. And he's getting ready to be on The Walking Dead show. He looked drained. He looked like a Brazilian racing. It was horrendous. He's a great athlete, of course. You, you don't have to worry about him right now. He's, he's just fine. But the problem is that he had like 15 more pounds to cut right there in that picture. So it's gonna get worse. It's crazy, so I thought that you guys would benefit from knowing what happens when we cut weight and how fighters cut weight. Now, Jose Aldo, a great champion, a lot of veers in 145 pounds, okay? His walk around weight is 170, so he didn't have to cut that much weight. It was a, a rough cut, but he made it comfortably and he, he looked like hell. Uh, before the fight, before the weigh-in, but he rehydrated and looked good afterwards and performed amazingly. But after a string of losses to McGregor and to Max Holloway, he's looking to remake himself in a new weight class in 135 pounds. So he has to cut an additional 10 pounds to make this weight. And he's fighting a monster in Marlon Moraes who just lost to Henry Cejudo, to the king, the king of cringe. 15 pounds to go guys so what's the problem with this think about it he walks around 170 pounds so he has to cut i measure things in babies three babies and a half to get to his target weight it's crazy when you think about it like that that's the amount of weight one two three and a half babies sorry i cut that baby in half so sorry, it's a fake baby. Okay, so what's the problem physiologically with his body after he cuts weight? We're talking about performance being littered with holes and not being exactly the same. He, of course, when he was 170, he dieted to a certain point, but diet is only gonna bring him in a short amount of time close to his target weight. There's gonna have to be a water weight cut. And when you water weight cut, by a sauna suit, by a water restriction, you're putting your organs at a deficit. Think about it. Let's just put that image up there. Your body is made out of water and your organs are fed by a fluid that's blood. It carries oxygen, it carries nutrients, it carries electrolytes toward your whole body. What are you doing when you're cutting weight? You're taking water out of that system. Let's take that water. You're taking water, plasma, out of that system so there's less pressure your organs are not being fed during that brief time which is it's it just boggles the mind okay i want to fight in that weight class let me just push my body to the brink of death and let's compare you like water weight that's what is the same thing as vomiting all night long and all day long right fluid is going out electrolytes are going out your body is depleted you feel like crap, but you're getting an IV in the hospital and you feel a lot better. But this is on purpose, which is crazy. Your kidneys are getting shut. You're getting acute renal failure. You are getting acute kidney injury, which is the lack of oxygen blood flow through the blood to the tender tissue of the kidneys. Your brain is being affected. Now there's studies out there that said that your memory is impaired, which in fight time is going to impair your capacity to absorb your coach's instructions in between rounds. You don't want to do that. You you're imp implement your plan. You forget what you're going to do in the fight. So it's not good. So weight cut, you're just taking fuel out of your tank. Of course you rehydrate. Some fighters say it's okay, completely normal, but father time has another idea. Father time is telling you, no, You've been in the game a long time. I'm gonna start affecting you. And another thing that dieting extremely to get to this weight is gonna affect Jose Aldo is that word right there, glycogen, which is the, the long-term storage of sugar in your body. There's a, uh, a, there's a form where sugar is stored, it's called glycogen. 
where you use it when you're gonna go into anaerobic metabolism. So it's the metabolism when you've exhausted the metabolism that runs on oxygen, which is on the later rounds. I don't know if this fight is five rounds. I think it's three rounds. If it's three rounds, uh, we might. It, this might not matter as much. His glycogen is gonna be all, all, all messed up. So he's not gonna have that much gas tank on the later rounds, which might be a problem with Marlon Moraes, because Marlon Moraes, a little bit of a beast, and that's his natural weight class. So that's an issue. So by cutting weight extremely like Jose Aldo, the world is gonna be observing Jose Aldo. I'm gonna be observing Jose Aldo because I want to see, medically, I wanna see how his performance is gonna be. My prediction would be that there is gonna be a reduction in his performance. Hopefully he, it doesn't happen, but the science is there. There's plenty of studies. I'll put the links right there in the description. There's a lot of studies. It's happened. It's been studied because it happens in judo, in taekwondo, in, in karate, in, um, in wrestling, Greco-Roman wrestling, all those. It's like 20% of all Olympic medals are combat sports. And in all those combat sports, there's 90% of rapid weight loss, RWL. And that's what weight cutting is, rapid weight loss, which is ridiculous. You're supposed to get an advantage because you're heavier, but you're depleting your body's natural uh, metabolic functions to get there. So it's kind of a benefit, a benefit and risk, and it's all in balance. We'll get the right data when we see Aldo. And we're gonna have the second conversation, which is me swallowing my words, if Aldo looked like an amazing uh, world beater or confirming what I think is the truth. You're depleting your body, and it's just, it's the equivalent of being sick, guys. You're dehydrated before a fight. It just doesn't make any sense. Thank you for the follow, guys. I just recently hit 1,000. My Rosenstrike video hit almost 180,000 views. I'm super grateful. Um, keep, keep your eyes glued to the channel. I'm about to take it to the next level. I'm gonna put a lot of content now in fight week. We're gonna put videos every day. So thank you for your support. And please also go to my Rockfin channel. I have extra contents and I'm preparing a weekly podcast that is gonna be audio format with a special a medical specialist that is gonna be exclusively on Rockfin, which is subscription based. So please do check it out. We have ben, Funky Ben Askren over there producing content. He's not doing it anywhere else, just in Rockfin. So please go over there, check it out and support independent creators. Thank you guys.